A lot of moves in Pokemon Go. Unfortunately, they're not all created equal. Today, we're gonna go through the best fast move and charge move for each type and break down the best of the best. This is gonna be a personal list. You might not agree with all of my picks for the best fast move and charge move for each different type. So I'd love for you guys to comment below what you guys think about my picks and let me know if you think there's a fast move or charge move better than the one I put on my list. We're gonna hop right into it, starting with the bug type. Now, unfortunately, bug is not even a very good type in Pokemon Go. So most of these moves probably won't see a lot of use, but my pick for the best fast move is going to be the move Fury Cutter. A close second was was the move Bug Bite, but I went with Fury Cutter just because there were more Pokemon that could potentially learn this move, and Bug Bite was a move that, you know, not as many bug types ended up learning. As for the charge move, I decided to go with the move Lunge. Now, I know Lunge doesn't have as much raid play in Pokemon Go. It is a deadly move in PvP. Debuffing moves are absolutely broken sometimes in PvP and can really get out of hand. Moving on to the Dark type, and this was an easy pick. For the fast move, I went with the move Snarl. This is one of the best PvP and PvE raids in the game. And then for the charge move, I decided to go with the move Crunch. Now, initially, I was going to go with the move Foul Play, but Crunch and Foul Play have the exact same stats, but Crunch has a 30% chance to debuff the opponent in PvP. Also, Crunch is a very good raid move as well. Easily, I think Crunch is one of the best dark moves, but there are other good ones. Moving on to the Dragon type. Now, for fast moves, there's only two options, Dragon Breath, Dragon Tail, and we went with Dragon Tail. Reason being is Dragon Tail is better in raids, and in PvP, both Dragon Breath and Dragon Tail are pretty similar, so just because it's better in raids, it does take the first spot. As far as the charge move goes, this was not easy, but I decided to go with the move Draco Meteor. Now, a lot of you guys probably think Outrage is the best dragon move, and by all means, Outrage is a pretty good move, but honestly, Draco Meteor is not a terrible move. It does so much damage. It has such a high damage stat for PvP, and in raids as well, you can run this move and still have some success. Maybe I'm just a fan of booming kids out of the sky with Draco Meteor. Let's move on to the Electric, and as far as fast move goes, it was tough between Thundershock and Volswitch, but I decided to go with Thundershock as the best fast move for Electric type. Reason being is in raids, Thundershock is better than Volt Switch, but in PvP, both of them are pretty good, but I prefer the quicker energy gain of Thundershock. As far as charge move goes for Electric type, it is an easy choice. Wild Charge is one of the best moves in Pokemon Go. I know it debuffs you in PvP, but if you can play it right, you can actually destroy kids with this move. Moving on to Fairy, as far as fast moves goes, there's only one of them, Charm, so I guess that takes the first slot, and by all means, it probably would because it's absolutely busted move. And as far as charge move goes, I decided to go with Moonblast. Now, Fairy type doesn't have the best choice of charge moves. Funny enough, both Play Rough and Moonblast take the same amount of energy, 60 energy, but Moonblast does 110 damage and has a 10% chance to drop your opponent's attack, while Play Rough just does 90 damage. So Moonblast, way better move and probably the best move in my opinion. Moving on to fighting, as far as the fast move goes, counter, it's really the only fast move you should ever be using in PvP or in raids. Then as far as the charge move goes, flying press. Literally one of the most busted moves in Pokemon Go. I think only Pikachu Libre can learn it right now, but if Halucha ever comes to the game or if this move ever gets distributed, it's gonna be absolutely broken. It does more damage than Super Power. If you guys know the move Super Power, very good in PvP but it doesn't debuff you and it has the exact same energy gain. So it's absolutely broken flying press. If that ever gets distributed to other Pokemon, it's gonna be the best charge move by all means. We're going on to fire. As far as fast moves goes, incinerate, an absolutely busted move, such a good move incinerate. And then for charge moves, it's gonna be blast burn, the community move. The community moves are so busted, by the way. A community move like blast burn, frenzy plant, or hydro cannon, spoilers for the next types, does takes 50 energy and does 110 damage. Compare that to another average 50 energy move like dark pulse, which takes 50 energy, but only does 80 damage. They literally do 30 more damage for the same amount of energy. Community moves are so busted in Pokemon Go. Moving on to flying type. For fast moves, we've went with wing attack. Now, gust was another option for flying moves, but honestly, I think wing attack in general is just a little bit better. It does well in raids. It does well in PvP. Pretty good move there. And then for charge moves, we went with aeroblast. Aeroblast, although only Lugia can learn it, is an absolutely insane move. It has the most amount of damage in the game. 170 damage for 75 energy with a 12.5% chance of buffing your attack by two stages in PvP. In raids, it's good as well, but the problem is Lugia's stats for raid attackers are not good, so that's what holds it back. But if Aeroblast was on other Pokemon, it's never gonna be. It would be so good of a move. On to Ghost. This is a very simple choice. For fast moves, it's gonna be Shadow Claw, one of the best fast moves in the game. Good for raids, good for PvP. Has the perfect balance between energy gain and damage. And then for charge moves, we went with Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is the closest you will get to a community move that is not a community move. It does 100 damage, takes 55 energy, 
do a little bit less damage, but it's still such a good move. Shadow Ball, one of the best moves in the game. Also, not a lot of things for this go, so you're usually hitting for a lot of neutral damage. Onto the Grass type. For the fast move, I went with Bullet Seed. Now, Vine Whip was another option for Grass type, but I think Bullet Seed, for me, I just enjoy that faster energy gain, and Bullet Seed is such a spammy move. The one thing about Bullet Seed, though, is it's not as good in raids, so unfortunately, you know, Vine Whip probably would be the better general option, but I don't know. I just put Bullet Seed because I like Bullet Seed. And then for charge moves, easily Frenzy Plant, another community move, absolutely busted. Funny enough though, Frenzy Plant actually only does 100 damage and takes 45 energy. So Blast Burn takes a little more energy, does a little more damage. Frenzy Plant, Hydro Cannon, and Blast are not all the exact same stats. Moving on to ground type. For fast move, we've went with Mud Shot, one of the best moves again in the game, and it generates energy so quickly on a lot of good PvP Pokemon, and also has play in raids, although Mud Slap is gonna be the better option there. And then for charge moves, we went with Drill Run. Now Drill Run is actually a very, very good move. I think Earth Power was probably my second choice because Earth Power does a little more damage, takes a little more energy, and has a chance to debuff in PvP. I think Drill Run is just, in general, a better move in terms of statistics. Drill Run takes 45 energy, while Earth Power takes 55 energy, and Drill Run does 80 damage, while Earth Power does 90 damage. So it's like plus 10 energy for plus 10 damage, pretty much. Moving on to the Ice type. For fast moves, we've gone with Powder Snow. Pretty much the best Ice move you should have run. If you have it on your Ice type Pokemon, make sure you're running Powder Snow. All the best Ice types have this move. And then for Charge moves, we've gone with Avalanche. Now, I was initially going to put Icicle Spear in this position, but I just put Avalanche because Avalanche has both PvP and raid play in Pokemon Go. It's good in both. While Icicle Spear is so good in PvP, but you don't run Icicle Spear in the raid meta. For normal type, for fast moves, there's really not a lot of good fast moves for normal type, but we've gone with Lock On, probably one of the best fast moves in the game, but the only good normal fast move. Lock On, it generates energy so quickly, and it's not like we're looking at normal types for raids, by the way, because, you know, normally can't do super effective damage, but Lock On, such a quick energy gaining move. And then for charge moves, we've gone with Body Slam. Again, probably one of the only normal type charge moves you should be using. Body Slam, such a spammy move, such a good move. Makes you have it in PvP. For Poison, for fast moves, we've gone with Poison jab poison jab again just generally the best poison move you can run in pvp in raids poison sting is good but you're not running that in raids and then for charge moves now there's actually a lot of good poison charge moves now with the recent poison updates well not recent anymore i've gone with sludge bomb because just of the general use it's the best in raids it's the best it's pretty good in pvp as well but you know there is those good pvp specific poison moves like poison fang acid and a couple other good poison moves that you can still use don't dismiss them but sludge bomb in general I think is the best. For Psychic, for fast moves, we've gone with Psycho Cut. Confusion is a good one as well, but I think Psycho Cut just has the more general use. And for charge moves, we've gone with Psy Strike, which is Mewtwo's move. Psy Strike does, takes 45 energy and does 90 damage. So it's like a little bit worse than Frenzy Plant. It does a little bit less than Frenzy Plant, but still an absolutely busted move. One of the best moves in Pokemon Go. It takes less energy than Psychic, but does the exact same amount of damage. Moving on to Rock. Currently right now, best fast move is going to be Smackdown, in my opinion. Has the raid play. You run it into PvP as well but potentially I think a rollout, the new move coming out for rock type could take the number one slot for the rock fast move category. We're just gonna have to wait on the stats for that one, but I think it's gonna be a quick energy gaining rock type move, which will be interesting. As far as charge moves go, rock wrecker is gonna be the best by a landslide. It takes 50 energy and does 110 damage. So it has the exact same stats as the last burn, but it's for rock types. Only Rhyperior can learn this one, I believe, but if this move ever gets distributed to other Pokemon, absolutely destructive. Steel type, as far as fast moves goes, is going to be bullet punch. Bullet punch is actually a pretty generally a good move. Generate energy pretty quickly, does a good amount of damage. It's like, you know, it's a good mix between energy and damage. And also it has that raid play. And then for charge moves, Meteor Mash, again, gonna be the best. Does take 60 energy, does 100 damage. Absolute deadly in terms of energy for damage. As we've seen, Metagross has this exact move set and it's one of the best steel type Pokemon in the game. So yeah, self-explanatory. Final type is going to be the water type. Now for fast moves, I've gone with Bubble. Waterfall was the other choice I could have gone with, but I decided to go with Bubble because Bubble has that higher energy gain and usually that's kind of the preferred thing to run but honestly bubble waterfall i would probably just give them a tie because they're both pretty good moves um or the best moves water doesn't have a lot of good fast moves i'll be honest and then for charge moves of course hydro cannon hydro cannon takes 40 energy and does 80 damage it's gonna be the spammiest of the community starter moves but honestly such a good ratio damage per energy all the elemental punches like thunder punch take 40 energy but they only do 55 damage so this move is doing 25 more damage for the exact same amount of energy so yeah that's gonna be my list guys i'd love for you guys to comment below how you guys compare with this list do you agree with all my picks for the best moves if you want to know the best moves for each type in each 
each different scenario. So let's say you want to know the best fire type charge moves for PVP. I'm going to leave a link below to a playlist in which there are videos there, little shorts discussing each and every different type and the best moves for each type. So if you want to get more in depth and, you know, learn more about each type instead of just a general best move, because not every Pokemon can learn any move, definitely check that playlist out. But let me know what you guys think about this list and let me know if you like these ranking types of videos. We're going to see you all in the next one, guys. Fall from chapter one. Peace.